<laughs> oh yes, now this is just, this is the kind of mod I love. Uh, the kind of mod that adds uh, grand adventures, epic dungeons, uh, tons of verticality, uh, new locations for you to visit, and new realms for you to explore. Uh, this is the kind of just massive epic quest mod that we just, we haven't seen in a really, really long time. Like, this mod just makes me really nostalgic for the good old days when we had mods like the Illuminated Order, Apostate to Oblivion, and Rise of House Telvani. And uh, this is actually comparable in size and scope to all those, you know, mods I just mentioned. Uh, because uh, today's mod of the day is Astrologian's Guild by Billy Fighter. A new faction and guild mod that adds an, just an entirely new faction for you to join and rise through the ranks in. And uh, again, I, I just I have to draw comparisons here to a ton of the old classic faction mods like, again, the Illuminated Order or Apostates to Oblivion or uh, even a Saran Underworld. Uh, just all these old classic quest mods that uh, had humble origins, but uh, which eventually took you to these grand epic locations and gave you just an amazing adventure and quest line to go through. Uh, Astrologian's Guild is very much in that same vein, that same sort of uh, style as those old quest mods from the you know from the mid 2000s. Uh, only arguably with just much better quality, because, uh, y you know, the quest mods and faction mods of the mid-2000s, uh, you know, the quality of the mods of that age are a bit, uh, just, you know, hit and miss. Uh, as much, as much as I love the, you know, the faction mods of the mid-2000s, and I, I do, I do have just a ton of nostalgia for them, and I do still like them, uh, they were just a bit rough around the edges, especially when it came to dungeons and, you know, implementing things into the game world. And I, I do think that Astrologian's Guild is just a, a, a much better mod in terms of quality and implementation, and, you know, a, a worthy successor, a modern successor, uh, to those old faction mods. Uh, but, uh, you know, we haven't really even talked much about the Astrologian's Guild itself, and we probably should since this is a showcase for Astrologian's Guild. Uh, so to start off with, uh, the Astrologian's Guild is a, you know, sort of a branch off of the Mage's Guild, uh, with a tiny little guild hall just in Arkenthand, uh, you know, sort of just buried in the ruins here. Uh, where these uh, Astrologians have kind of been studying a lot of the Duma constructs, and uh, as you join the guild, uh, you'll be given just, you know, a lot of the typical fetch quests, you know, go here, do this, deliver that. Uh, but in almost no time at all, uh, you'll be uncovering new Duma ruins and uh, finding uh, new perilous depths for you to explore and, you know, fight through. Uh, there is a, a ton, a, just an absolute ton of dungeon delving content in this mod, uh, again, most of which is very heavily Dwemer focused. Uh, so you'll be, you know, exploring some new uncharted depths of Arkenthand and other, you know, Dwemer ruins from the vanilla game, uh, as well as uncovering new Dwemer ruins with some just uh, really amazing scripted cutscenes. And uh, I, I really must emphasize again just the quality of this mod. There, there, there are some really just cinematic elements uh, to this, again, massive quest mod. Uh, like you can literally see a, a Duma Ruin be raised out of the ground by your powerful uh, wizard companion. And of course you'll have to do, uh, defend them while they do so from the date records, uh, which f for some reason are attacking you. And, uh, you know, it just, it, it really just cannot be understated just how much dungeon delving content is in this mod. There, there, there is just, there is quite a few just new dungeons for you to explore and fight through. And uh, all of them are just uh, beautifully detailed and decorated with uh, just a, a lot of just really atmospheric interiors for you to find. Uh, not to mention some just really grand and epic uh, verticality inducing spaces for you to encounter. Uh, there is really, there is just, there is so much content in this mod. There is hours and hours of content. And uh, no, 
Uh, that is not an exaggeration. I, I, I was playtesting this mod for about, uh, I don't know, a week, a week and a half. And I'd say it took me at, at least five hours to play through the content of Astrologian's Guild with a cheap character, you know, skipping segments and, uh, you know, just jumping uh, straight to the end of quests. Like, it, it still took me at least five hours. Like, if you were just playing this to, you know, play a mod for fun, it, it, it would take you at least ten hours to complete, possibly more. Like, this is not a one-day quest mod, this is a multi a day epic quest adventure and it, it'll take you to so many scenic locations and uh, give you just so many cinematic adventures and uh, so many new and exciting items and relics for you to find and just so much uh, just everything really it, it has everything that you could possibly want in a, a grand epic faction quest mod and uh, again you know we just we don't get mods like this uh, very often in fact, it's been a just a really, really long time since we've had a mod in this vein. Uh, probably not since a Rise of House Talvani. Uh, this is, uh, without a doubt, just the largest quest mod of 2022 so far. And uh, probably just uh, one of the largest quest mods of, uh, really, I'd say, the past five years. It is just, again, just utterly massive. And it'll take you to just so many scenic new locations, like the uh, the Twilight Citadel, a sort of nighttime realm with just uh, some absolutely beautiful looking graphics that eventually becomes uh, sort of a hub of the Astrologian's Guild. And uh, not only that, but eventually uh, you will, as part of this questline, uh, build a new headquarters uh, for the Astrologian's Guild on a new island just uh, sort of in the uh, Shugorad, uh, though as a note, uh, this uh, doesn't actually make any landscape changes. This is, you know, an artificial island, so it should have maximum compatibility with uh, pretty much everything. Uh, including the island of Tal Morgana, which you can see in the background there. Uh, just as a note, that is a different mod. It has uh, nothing to do with, uh, you know, Astrologian's Guild. But uh, anyway, we're actually, we're skipping over quite a bit that you can find in this mod. Like, everything that we've shown so far is just a fraction, a fraction of what you'll find in this uh, massive faction quest mod. And I would uh, strongly, strongly recommend just, you know, checking it out for yourself. But uh, anyway, you know, that's just, uh, that's just our mod of the day. So, as always, uh, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.